Today, I have every single clicky switch that I could find on the internet, and I'll be ranking them on a tier list with our resident expert of clicky switches. So let me introduce you to Randy. Hello, everyone. Clicky gang, rise up. Is there anything you'd like to say about your love for clickies, Randy? Clickies are always neglected by everyone, you know? They're kind of the most fun to type on. The only thing is they're kind of intolerable, the sound. <laughs> I can't really argue with that. Let me just reach into my box. And how many clickies? Clickies do we have today? We've got a bunch. We actually, I think we have the Rudy. First one, optical blue. That's ultra niche. Opticals don't actually need a leaf to work, but they all have like an internal leaf, at least the tactile ones and the clicky ones. Oh. What? I didn't even know that. I don't think they're, they feel quite as tactile as a true MX Blue, but they do feel a little bit more smooth. Yeah, I think I agree. I don't even think you need to lube these. So do you lube clickies? Well, you can lube the spring if you want, if if um, you can hear the resonance at all when you're typing. What bothers me a little bit more about some clickies is the rattle and the scratchy kind of scrapey sound that you, you hear. You can tell when you fully press down the switch and you shake it. Okay, um, this one's good. No rattle on this one. I didn't know that. That's very cool. I'm going to put optical blues in a B tier. Oh, B tier. Because I feel like the, the switch doesn't need any mods, but also it's super smooth right out of the box. Usually I give clicky blue switches a default of around between C and T tier, <laughs> just because they all tend to be rattly and scrapey. And since the opticals less rattly and smooth, I, I could go with a B tier. Going on B. So the next switch, K speed gold they are click bar bronze are the click bar and uh, gold are the click jacket oh darn i didn't know that i thought they were both click bar kale speed gold you can tell because they've got a gold colored stem and other than that i mean it just looks like a kale switch i think it feels phenomenal so you can hear it here Kind of strange to see a speed clicky too, because you know how stereotypically they never suggest clicky switches for gaming. It's always like even though gaming. all gaming keyboards come with like exactly, clicky right? switches. <laughs> That's my argument. So these, if I click and and shake, I hear like really loud rattle from these. That's from the click jacket itself uh, sliding up and down the stem. Just moving. it doesn't really matter, you know, when you're in a board typing and stuff, but you can tell the difference between click jackets and a click bar. I'll we'll have to compare. Here is Kale Gold's inside of a keyboard. Compared to Optical Blues, Kale Gold sound deeper. Well, for me, when I reach for a clicky, I like to feel uh, a lot more tactility in it. I don't know if speed switches are so rare. I'm, I'm gonna give it a B as well. Yeah, I was that thinking the same there. thing. Pretty smooth. It doesn't produce like a high pitched ringing sound. And for a clicky, it sounds clean. I think it sounds clean. Oh. Uh, let's go for a click bar switch. Ooh, yeah. okay. Any one I like? I wanna talk about those new ones that you, you sent me that I've never seen before. Oh, the crystal one. Oh, okay. They're different from normal jade box pink box navy. The normal ones are three pin. These are going to be five pin. The springs are also different. So the box jade is going to feel a little bit lighter than the box crystal jade. What matters more, the sound of the click or the feel of the switch for you? Uh, for me, it's all about key feel, but they're so rare um, nowadays. So these noble yellows, these are click bars, the same as the pink. But the spring is different. So the pink is the heaviest and then the yellow, then the green. The sound of a glazed green clean these are gonna be the hardest to to rank i think they're gonna be ranking higher than everything else from <laughs> here's crystal pink and noble yellow and glazed green they all sound the same i'm not gonna lie but they feel spectacular yeah. i like the green more than the rest so i'm gonna put that in s here and put Ooh. the yellow the noble yellow and the crystal pink in a tier i would just throw them all in a personally the click bars mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah they're they're crisp the click bars are much more superior but they're not my preferred ones so Ooh. that's why they're not s they're not your prefer all the preferred ones we'll get through all the all these box click bars then we got box navy box white and box pale blue box navy on the left that one's going to be the thickest click bar and the heaviest spring of all of them 
pale box white in the middle. That's the thinnest click bar and the lightest spring. The pale blue is just going to be the same one, but a heavier spring. So the differences between these two is just weight. The thickest bar, I think it produces a lower tone. So here, here's what I'm getting from all this. So there's three click bars. And then between those three, a company will just pick one and then be like, I'm going to pick a spring weight and then give it a color and call it something. More or less, yeah. <laughs> and, or like choose the different materials and stuff. Main thing being that the thick click bar was created by Mike at Novel Keys, the box jade and box navy are the best clicky switches on earth. Did you just say the best? That's right, the okay. best. Okay. I don't know if I'm a fan of heavy click bar plus heavy spring. It's fatiguing, especially on the pinky finger and the ring finger. I think the, the crystal jade feels heavier just because it's super stiff at that like peak position. Why is a jade your favorite compared to the other one? Just the weighting of the spring and the the side the, the weight of the click bar, the most tactile of them, but uh, not heavy enough that it feels super fatiguing every time you type. Okay, I don't know if I agree with that. Are you heavy handed when you're typing? I'm very heavy handed, yeah. Okay, but would you put the box Jade and the crystal jade in the same tier. I, I find them a lot more fatiguing than just a normal jade, so I probably wouldn't put them in the same tier. I think personally, I would put jade and white in S tier and then pop navy in A tier and crystal jade in B. Yeah, that, I, yeah, I think that's what I would yeah. do. Does crystal feel heavier to you than, uh, than navy? It gets stuck almost. I feel like it gets stuck. But your fingers would have a six pack. Randy, you type yeah. on pretty heavy switches. Would you say your fingers got a, got a six pack? My fingers have power bellies, not six packs. That's still something to be proud of. You're like a strong man. So Jade's S tier. Okay. Navy, I would also put S tier. Crystal, probably probably A. Yeah, I, I have to fight you on that one. I'm putting that in, in B tier. Oh no, you said Navy S tier. I wouldn't personally use Navy most of the time, but if you ask a lot of the community, a lot of them actually prefer Navy to Jade even though it's a heavier spring. What? Just for that, just for that return. Does it make them type faster? It just feels a little bit more comfortable, I guess. Doesn't feel as sluggish as a jade is what some people say. What about box white? B or C tier, personally, <gasps> just because it, it sounds more, yeah, I know, right? It sounds it sounds more tactile than it, it sounds more clicky than it feels. It feels like a linear, but sounds like a clicky. I mean, it's it's kind of like the worst of both worlds, you know? You, get like you took the worst part of a linear and the worst part of a clicky and put them together. I think these are all of our box. No, we we still have we still have sherbert micro center is the one-stop shop for all of your technology needs micro center carries everything tech computer electronics networking cables chairs you name it it's there they even sell all of the parts you need to make your own custom mechanical keyboard when i was browsing there the other day in the keyboard aisle you know just hoping no one recognizes me no one ever does. Uh, one of the associates stopped me, pulled me aside, and was like, Hey, check out our switch tester. I made it myself. It had Gateron switches, Kale switches, Glorious switches all on it and labeled underneath. It was nice just geeking out about keyboard stuff with a person in real life. He even took out his phone and showed me pictures of his newly built GMMK Pro with a brass knob. I love talking to the associates there. They're super helpful. They're experts of their aisle, whether it's 3D printers, laser cutters, the GPU aisle, the CPU, whatever it is. Micro Center also has its own online community. So if you wanna talk dank PC keyboard, CPU motherboard stuff to someone online, you can check out their Micro Center community. New customers can get a free 128 gigabyte USB card and micro SD card. Just use the first link in the description down below to get access to your free coupon. Back to the video. White owls as well, I oh, think. Oh yeah. Whoever recommended I purchase white owls that one time, I appreciate it. I mean, they look cool. They don't have that uh, that clear housing of any kind. Opaque top housing with a white stem. And it's a thicker click bar than the box white. These are next level. That's all I've got to say. Maybe it's an appearance bias because they look so cool. A white owl. That's what it sounds like. Between White Owl and Jade, it's lighter. I like it more. I would put White Owls in, in S tier. 
I think they're very Ooh. similar to Jade's. Ah, plus one for the thick click bars. What was I saying? S tier, that's right. All right, white out. <laughs> okay, Sherbert. So these are also click bars, except they don't have the box shape. Them. I think it has a thick click bar. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it almost doesn't feel as crisp when you're pressing down. Yeah, I don't know. Sherbert's to me are a little wonky. Um, I probably wouldn't buy them just because they are more expensive than Jade's and stuff. Uh, they're so. more expensive? <laughs> these aren't as interesting as the other ones, too. They're like, oh, you're, yeah. you're sort of lightweight. You're sort of clicky. It doesn't have that oomph. Kind of just mediocrity in yeah, a click bar. exactly. Like, it's not impressive. I feel bad putting a click bar so low, but I'll put a D probably. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same. I've got my next group of four clicky switches. Gateron Milky Greens. Another switch you never really hear anything about, really. It's heavy blues, you know? I don't know. Do they feel that different to you? No, they don't. Let me grab a blue. Okay, yeah, if you yeah they're they're slightly heavier milky green in my opinion i i feel like it's it's similar to uh what the sherbert felt like nothing amazing to, to rave about so i would put it in d as well throw them down there throw them down there <laughs> we need more switches down here in d and d and f land anyways i think they'll fill up soon <laughs> i think so too actually okay the next one is a an abomination that i created a long time for a video I think these are called blue bombs. I just called Tubes one day since I saw his video and I was like, hey, how do you make your switches? I need to make a really loud keyboard. So he told me and I put them together, but I sanded the top housing and now it's like oh super God. duper scratchy. It's not that they're loud. It's that the, the pitch of it is so sharp that when you're listening to it, it hurts you. It's so much effort for a curse switch. <laughs> it's an abomination. <laughs> blue bomb. I'm throwing them straight into F tier. That's the only place for them. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the Gazoo ones. I don't know anything about these switches, so you're gonna have to educate me. So the clicky ones that you're holding up right now, the Boba Phoenix on the left and the Odamu Phoenix on the right. The special thing about them is the stem. They're click jackets, but they're Aristotle clone stems. They're gonna have a much longer tactile leg, and they're gonna feel much more tactile as well. The sound on these two is a little thin and hollow and scrapey be and not very pleasant compared to the rest of the clickies, I guess. Scrapey is probably the most accurate descriptor I've heard of these. Well, the, the boba ones are probably my favorite click jacket switch. They don't sound very good, so I don't really use them. Yeah, they feel good. They feel good. They just don't sound very good. I'm not a fan. Kind of hard to rank if, if sound is more important. You know, this is one of those cases where sound kind of does make you have a different feeling of it. I would put the Boba Phoenix in C and the other one in D. We're going into all the ones that look, they all look like blues at this point, and I can't tell. To be honest, I just kind of throw all the Gateron blues into one category. The main differences are going to be sound and smoothness. If you can judge the smoothness on a clicky switch, the, the pros are pre-lubed. All of my blue variants, including phantom blue. Yeah, one molds newer than the other type of thing. So basically they're all the same and they're all mediocrely clicky. And they all do the rattle thing you talked about. They're either going into D or F. I would agree with that 100%. I'm gonna put them in F because I feel like these three are, are better than those. There, they're all going here. There was one special one that I wanted to talk about. The Jixian Blue for my super ultra ultra budget build. It was a really yeah. really cheap keyboard. I can't even find any information really regarding Jixian Blues or Jixian Blues. The tooling on them is phenomenal, you know? They're they're all messed up. Going straight into F tier. There'd be a tier lower than F for those yeah, now? That's that should be like Z tier because that's much worse than these other blues. Never get Get these blues never the greens you said they were just heavier yeah greens are just heavier versions of blue with the kale ones it's a little different uh the kale ones uh i believe are gonna be heavier so it's like a speed green almost slightly <laughs> fast slightly speed, speed like not as speed as speed but faster than a normal one there's not much to say about these they're just not special if you like clickies and you like gaming and you want to have the fastest switches quote unquote then go for like either a speed or a pro why did i put this milky green here is it because i just thought it looked cool because it felt kind of like the sherbet oh yeah 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 yeah. these other green could go there too but then there's just heavier blues so that doesn't justify 
that they're better. My logic's just falling apart in front of your very eyes. All right, they're they're going in D tier. Okay, I've got the what are these? These are box mute jades. How do these they are so mute weird. these? So the main thing is that there's a small silicone dampener in the top housing that pushes down the the click bar. Yeah, it doesn't have the the jump. If anything, it feels like like one of those other switches we just looked at, like the the boba. It feels like a click jacket and the sound it makes is like atrocious yeah it's, <laughs> it's very strange that's weird box mujays do we still consider them clicky i don't know yeah. they're click bars but they don't they don't, they, they don't have the normal qualities of a click so do they even belong on this tier list they would be like unfairly ranked against all these other clicky switches but if we put them on like a tactile tier list maybe they would do all right so we may think they're abominations, but they, they could be innovating. They're onto something here. Yeah, the new right. wave of tactiles could be click bar tactile. So unique. I, I would put it in D. Yeah, it's hard to say C or D for me. I think that's fair. I guess we have like five more. One's a snap spring and then two are like a pale blues. So we have the mystery switch that I told you about. Pale pro heavy sage. For pros, not yeah. gamers. That's super so ironic, right? So it's for pros, but it's it's heavy. 70 or 80 gram peak force and, and bottom out for the spring. It doesn't make sense for a gamer switch or a pro switch, but it's there, so. I would throw this in, in D tier. Like mediocre, but more like, why would anyone buy this? Y tier. Like, why? I don't get it. Y tier. The next one used to be one of my favorite clicky switches before I learned more about clicky switches. And this is a kale speed bronze. It's, it's a, a click, click bar, bar, so I don't blame you. When I first used this, I was like, dang, those are some clean, crispy clicks. But it's too high pitched for me and it's too loud. I mean, I'm not a clicky person. So yeah, click bars are nice, but still they're clicky. So yeah, I would throw this in B tier. And then we, we have pale blue and box heavy pale blue, something like that. But I didn't find my my box pale blue so you didn't know these existed i'm not surprised that they exist but i kind of forgot they did i guess yeah this one's heavier and that's all i can say it's heavier i don't know if it's got a click bar or not look at the bottom do you see a, a click bar inside that that smd hole and yeah. do you see a little bar there okay it's got a click bar. yeah so those are kind of like how sherbets are it's a normal stem kale switch with a click bar they feel better than sherbets they're more uh stable feeling like they're not shaky feeling that means i would put them in in c tier you sent me one of the cherry blue retools what do you mean by retool the previous mold to hyperglide somewhere around the 2000s or something they had the the old mx switch we would call those pre-tool i think and then around then they changed them into retool which is what uh all the cherries were basically up until 2020 when they released hyperglide so slightly older molds slightly rattlier slightly looser tolerances mm -hmm. Yep, it's cherry mix blue. What else to say? <laughs> I feel like I preemptively already tossed them into F tier. I don't know if they deserve that. They're definitely lower thirst for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you like blues, they're okay. They're they're not horrible blues as blues go. And the last one, snap springs. They come in a keyboard because if I had if I wanted to buy them separately, I would have had to buy ten thousand of them. It's not just a keyboard. It's a low profile keyboard. I'm not sure what else to say other than it's clicky. Real switch, low profile switch. They're sort of cute. The click isn't anything special. I mean, it's cool that the design, I guess, is kind of innovative. It's not a normal clicky switch, right? But who would buy the switches in the first place? <laughs> tech, tech wear would. I think I would still put them in F tier or D. Awesome in there. Now I can give you all a sound test of my abomination keyboard that I built today. This is clicky hell. It doesn't sound that bad when you have IEMs on. Yeah, I think this is our, our final tier list here. And I, I think we're providing some pretty good information here. I think that uh, if we can get more people away from blues and into click bars, that's good in my book. That's right. So we're providing some good information here. Then maybe Clicky Gang can go from 5% to like 25%. Bye, Randy. Have a good night, everyone. Clicky Gang, all five of you. Good to see you. Thanks for turning up. <laughs> this was probably the most niche video on clicky switches. I uh, hope to help some people out who want to you know, use clicky switches and don't know what to buy. These are for you. This video is for you. Enjoy.